So I love working with buyers. I love working with first time home buyers and walking in, them through the process of buying a home. And there's so much education to give and there's so much to learn when you're buying a home. I also love working with people that are moving up or downsizing or you know buying the, the perfect retirement home. When you work with a buyer, um, I'm like a matchmaker. It's helping you find the perfect house to fit your needs, to fit your family needs, or whatever your situation is. It's you know working with investors to find great rental properties. It's working with retired people who are maybe looking for something a little bit different. And in my experience, what I have found is that every age of a buyer has different requirements. If you have you know, young kids, um, most, most parents want a house that has bedrooms all on the same floor so they can hear Junior. Uh, when you get to be my age, I'm 50, um, I want a one-story house because as I'm aging, I don't want to have to worry about doing stairs. So there's a lot of different things to think about. You know, are you close to schools? Are you close to work? Are you close to doctor's offices, the grocery store? So it's great to work with buyers and educate them on whatever it is that they need to, to fit their needs for their housing purchase. So for the first time home buyer, um, or maybe somebody who hasn't purchased a home in a long time. There's a few steps to take along the way and, and areas that your realtor will be guiding you. The first is, you know, get your pre-qualification. Make sure that we're looking in a budget that you're comfortable with. Make sure that we're looking at something that has a house payment that you're comfortable with. So after we get your pre-qualification, we're gonna start looking for houses and sometimes you find the first house you look at is your dream home. Sometimes you look at 250 houses. Whatever it takes, we'll find the right house for you. From there, we're gonna write a contract and negotiate back and forth a little bit with the sellers. Once we have what is called an executed contract, we're gonna get something called earnest money. Earnest money is um, usually about 1% of the house price. We're gonna take it to wherever the earnest money is being held and the check will get cashed. Um, and that is basically your good faith to show the sellers that you're serious about what you're doing. There are some times in the process where you can cancel um, a contract and get that earnest money back, but it is there just to show good faith to the sellers. Once we've done that, we're gonna schedule an inspection. And you can choose whoever you want, but your realtor can also make some recommendations on who they know are qualified inspectors. And that inspector is going to look at things like your roof, your heating and air conditioning. They're going to look at windows. They're going to look at insulation. They're going to look at plumbing and electrical and make sure that you know everything that is wrong with your house. Because when you're buying a used house, you know, it's used. There's going to be issues. Um, and from there, we will ask the sellers to fix certain items. Probably not everything, but we will ask them to fix the big deferred maintenance or health and safety issues. Um, once that goes forward, the next big hurdle is appraisal. Your lender is going to hire an appraiser to come over and appraise the house. And what they're looking for, of course, is to make sure that you're getting a loan on a home that is worth that loan value. So if you're if you're asking for a $250,000 mortgage, we wanna make sure that the house appraises for $250,000. If it doesn't, we're gonna go back and renegotiate with the seller and see if there's some a happy medium or, or where we can meet to make sure that everybody's happy with that deal. And the very last piece is your loan. You will be have, of course, you will have worked with your lender from day one, uh, and by the time you close, you know people pretty well. But we're going to make sure that you're staying on track, that you're not buying that new Lamborghini when you are buying a house, um, and we're going to get you to the closing table.